Hello everyone, how are you all doing? This is Ayapo Tricks and today's video is on the top reasons not to jailbreak iOS 14. Yes, you heard it right. There are so many reasons to jailbreak iPhones in 2021, but the truth is there are a few reasons not to do it as well. I personally love jailbreaking, but we'll see in this video the reasons why you shouldn't jailbreak. Let's get started. Nowadays, a ton of developers don't allow you to use their apps if you're jailbroken like Pokemon Go, but especially all banking apps. Almost anyone who has a bank account can't really live without their banking apps. A few years ago, you could easily install a tweak from Cydia to bypass the jailbreak detection for all apps. And don't get me wrong, jailbreak detection bypassing is still possible, but it's not as easy as before. Before a tweak called Liberty Light could bypass almost every app which had jailbreak detection. But now, that's not the case. Jailbreak detections can always be bypassed, but we have to depend on the tweak developers in case apps update to be even more smarter with jailbreak detection. On older iOS versions, we could install tweaks to get emojis, an app library, dark mode, control center, a smaller volume HUD, widgets, custom keyboards, and I could go on forever. But now iOS has all those features, so why jailbreak? Some users would jailbreak just to get dark mode and some users would just jailbreak to install themes. But since now it's all in iOS, there is no reason for them to jailbreak. In other words, Apple is making jailbreaking less appealing. They have copied almost every single feature that's now on iOS from jailbreak tweaks. We all know jailbreaking voids your warranty, and that is true. But many people don't know that you just have to un-jailbreak and Apple would never know you were jailbroken. This means you just have to not be jailbroken at the point you want help from Apple. If you're not jailbroken when you walk into an Apple store or send your iPhone for repair or replacement, Apple cannot refuse to help you. Newer iPhones just got a jailbreak via Uncover and this means it's very unstable. You'll get random reboots, random resprings and even random app crashes. But this will definitely improve over time as updates are released for the jailbreak tools. Jailbroken iPhones can get malware. If you're not jailbroken, everything is in a sandbox and everything is restricted. For example, let's say Instagram has a virus. That virus cannot escape Instagram because Instagram is in a sandbox. It doesn't know anything exists except itself. It's like it only has read and write privileges for the app. Nothing outside can come in and nothing inside can go out of the sandbox. This is how Apple maintains security on the device. But if you jailbreak, you break all those securities. Don't get scared, malware rarely happens on jailbroken iPhones, but it has happened in the past when passwords were leaked from jailbroken iPhones. You can always stay away from getting these malwares by installing only trusted Cydia tweaks from the Cydia store. Tethered jailbreaks are a pain in the ass. Every time you reboot your device, you have to re-jailbreak and it's even worse now as Apple only signs up for 7 days. Of course, long-term jailbreakers know that that's very easy and not a problem since we have OutStore and Old Demon which automatically sign apps on our device. But for new jailbreakers who aren't aware with these concepts, uh, it can get really, really annoying. Nowadays, all jailbreaks are only tethered or semi-tethered. An untethered jailbreak hasn't been out in a long time. Jailbroken users are always stuck on older firmwares. I know some people who are still on iOS 13.7 or something and can't update to iOS 14. This is because they don't want to lose their jailbreak. This is the same case for users who are jailbroken now on iOS 14 to 14.3. They won't really update when a newer iOS version is released. The newer iOS version would patch like security risks and stuff like that so they'll be missing out. Also, users on iOS 13.7 are really missing out on iOS 14 features. You can get the features of iOS 14 on iOS 13 using Cydia. This is also a big disadvantage, like jailbreakers love jailbreaking and they have to be jailbroken. If they're not jailbroken, then they really can't even use their iPhone, like they get really addicted to jailbreaking. Many people think jailbreaking causes battery drain. Obviously, this is not true. 
Battery draining depends on the tweaks you install. If you install a bunch of tweaks from Cydia that have like a lot of animations and which constantly require battery, of course your battery is going to drain. You can't just blame it on the jailbreak itself, right? These are the only reasons I could think of not to jailbreak, especially tethered jailbreaks and jailbreak detection is what I suffer from the most. There are a thousand reasons to jailbreak iOS, in fact I've made a video giving you a thousand reasons to jailbreak. That video is pretty long so if you prefer a shorter video check my top 120 city tweaks for iOS 14 video. Comment down below what you love and hate about jailbreaking. That's it for this video, hope you liked it, if you did please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, have a great day, peace.